Die Guns is a good uh, remake of a bunch of stuff. All right, you, you won't cry after you hear this one. If you don't get this within three seconds, what's your name? Stacy Burke. Where are you from? Long Beach, California. What's your question, Freddie? Okay, the, what former guest on that metal show played guitar for Dawkin after George Lynch? Red Beach. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you for a legitimate question. Dude. I knew that one. I Thank didn't you. know that one. I knew that one. <laughs> Let's get started by meeting our first guest. She says that when she tells men what she does for a living, they usually don't understand. And she claims that once a guy gets to know her, he's usually surprised. Please welcome Stacy Burke back to the show. <laughs> Sir, uh, the Marines are happy to see you. I guess so. Hello. We met Stacy yesterday and we ran out of time. Uh, we, we didn't talk about your occupation yesterday. You're a model. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of modeling do you do? I'm a fetish model. You're a fetish model. Fetish model. See, I'm a little unclear on what a fetish model is. What? Um, it's kind of like role playing. It's like B-movie style, campy Ed Wood um, role playing. In modeling, it's kind of like um, your Edward Campy style, like kind of like Batman and Robin. Like Batman and Robin. Yeah, it's kind of that yeah. area. Yeah, a lot of guys have that fetish, Stacy. Oh yeah, they like to see a woman get in tight, getting tied up. Now, how do guys? Apparently, how do guys misunderstand that occupation? Do they? Well, when uh, you say fetish model, they think either you're a stripper or a porn star, which is neither. What I do is sexy, but it's um, not sexual. Mm -hmm. It's. All right. Aww, but it's sexy. Right. It's okay with our audience, apparently, Stacey. <laughs> now, what surprises men about you They, they once um, they get to know you? Well, I hate to say it, but a lot of my friends claim that I'm a goody two-shoes, which is weird considering what I do, but um, I, I don't smoke, I rarely drink, and I rarely date. Hardly uh, ever. Oh, yeah, so, well, you are a bit of a goody two-shoes. Yeah, I am. A little bit. Let's remind everyone what happened yesterday. Our studio audience saw Stacy's three choices, and they voted for one. Let's take a look at all three men again. First, there was Billy. He picks up extra money as an exotic dancer. Next, there was Claude. He says the only problem with women is that there aren't enough of them. And finally, Tim. He dates about once a week and spends his free time skydiving. The audience vote was recorded yesterday, and we'll get to that a little later. But right now, Stacy, why don't you remind us who you chose? I chose Claude. Claude, all right. Let's welcome into the show. This is Claude Cunningham. Hi, Claude. Hey, how are you doing, Pat? Doing well. Thanks for being with us. Stacy, tell us about the date. Well, first of all, we spoke on the phone, and I had a feeling some things were kind of going over his head. He would always say things like, let me see if I can get this right. Chicka bow, chicka bow wow. Something like that. He has a surfer lingo that yeah. I wasn't in tune with, but... All right, well, why were you making that sound, Claude? Well, uh, Pat, it's not really surfer lingo. It's kind of like she was talking about being a fetish model and stuff. And, of course, that was going over my head, but when I figured out what it was, it was kind of like, you know, an old porno movie. You know, it was uh, kind of like the, um, you know, it's the old music that goes, uh, there's a guy knocking on the door. Kinda, he's a pizza guy, and he says, uh, hey, um... You know, how about some pepperoni? Chicka yeah. brown, chicka brown, wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. That's what I mean by being misunderstood. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen a porno. I didn't know they had music. What, uh, what happened next, Jason? I went to his house, and I got to take a look at him. And this guy has no body fat. Um, most people would like that, but when I grab a guy, I want to hold on to something. I don't want to bounce off of them. Uh-huh. You know, he was just your typical pretty boy, but... Yeah. You, know, you told us yesterday you don't really like typical yeah, pretty boys. Yeah, too much boys. muscle I don't like, and yeah. I don't like your typical pretty boy. Now, what did you think of Stacy when you saw her, Claude? Um, when I saw her, she's, she's, she's kind of a cute girl, but she's a little bit kind of like uh, Trailer Park, actually. She, oh. she, uh, no. Excuse me, I have two houses, I own two businesses, I have mutual funds and IRAs. Uh, what do you have, baby? 
find out what kind of place Stacy lives in eventually? Yeah, actually, or? I did. Um, talking on the phone, she said that she hadn't slept in her room for like a month or two. It's, it's really messy and trashy. And, I, and and she's like, oh, my place is a mess. She's got six cats. And, you know, and living in a little small trailer like that, you got to at least be clean, you know. And I'm a clean guy. And I, I, I tell how she looked, you know, just by the way she uh, presented herself. You know? oh, all right. What happened next? Uh, well, uh, as soon as I got there, he started kissing me. I figured she drove a long way. We were going to have a good date. And one night stand is, you know, chicka brown, chicka brown, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, so I, you know, I gave it a shot. She, she responded. And I figured, hey, you know, we could go out and have just, you know, one good night. All right. Well, what happened then, Stacy? Well, just more kissing. And we fooled around. So I assumed he did like me. Uh-huh. And uh, then we went to this uh, beachside bar and had a few drinks and got to see the sunset. Oh, well, this sounds kind of romantic. Were things yeah, improving for you at all, Claude? Yeah, after a couple of beers, it was improving, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess and you need a couple of beers. I guess. So what happened next, Steve? Uh, then uh, I wanted to go to this Moroccan restaurant because I like belly dancing and I want mm -hmm. to see a belly dancer. So we go to this Moroccan restaurant and um, the belly dancer wasn't there. And so uh, Claude got a little upset. Why were you, uh, why were you so interested in the belly dancer, Claude? Well, uh, for one, she wanted the best. She wanted to see the belly dancer in the dance. And I, I called. They, you know, we're going to have uh, have the belly dancer there. It wasn't there, so I said, hey, you know, when we talk to the manager, let's get the belly dancer here. And um, she came, and she was gorgeous. She was fun. We danced, and we had a good time. It, you know, it was it was a good date. I, I thought that uh, she was enjoying the belly dancer. You know. Yeah. Well, all right. Not so as much as he was. Uh, so what happened next? Well, we get to his house. Uh, more kissing, uh -huh. more fooling around. He insisted that I spend the night, and I did. This is a very hard date to gauge. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound like you're you're clicking. Exactly. But you I were thought, clicking. I thought he was having a good time, but yeah. obviously he didn't have a good time, so... Well, I, I don't know if it was a good date or not, but let's take a look and see who the audience voted for. Ah, the audience chose Claude. 67% of our audience chose Claude. Stacy, I'll make the offer. If you'd like to go out with Claude again, we'd be happy to pay for it. Uh, no, thank you, but if Tim's available, I'll go out with him. You'll go out with Tim? Yes. Okay, I don't know who that is. Chicka brown, chicka brown. <laughs> Claude, thanks for being with us. I'm sorry thanks things didn't work out. All right. Appreciate Stacey, it. Stacey, thank you. It was nice meeting you. you. And uh, we're going to take a break and be right back with another couple after this. Are you? 